and i was actually reading a book called running on empty you guys might want to check it out it's a pretty good book in the book it was talking about how some of your food references are actually developed as it when you're a kid, which makes sense. And obviously there are neurodivergent people who may struggle with stuff like that, which makes sense. Again, I did read though that you can work on that if that is an issue that you have. Obviously if you're neurodivergent, that might change things a little bit for you. But if you're not, you actually can work on your food tastes and develop healthier habits if maybe you really like the unhealthy food and that's the only thing you eat. That was definitely one of those videos where it's like I could see kind of both points of views and I was struggling with that. This is not fair to force your partner to eat food that they're not willing to. I also understand being a little embarrassed or frustrated when you go to a fancy restaurant and they're only ordering the same thing. I also seen in the comment sections there was one person saying that music and food was a big deal to them, which I feel is totally valid if that's a preference that you need to have in order to have a happy relationship. 